Hey Slats Enthusiast, have you ever won often, but your bets are greater than your many small wins? Let's make sure you avoid those slot machines. That's coming up. Hi, my name is John Friedel. Welcome to Professor Slots, a channel that's all about mastering casino slots so you can win your way to success. If you've ever walked into a casino, looked around and wondered what's going on, I can help. Let's review choosing candidate slot machines. Once a specific casino has been determined to currently be the best of any available, choosing slot machines becomes the next step towards making a profit at slots. Remember, statistics supplied to state gaming commissions show that the odds of winning are, on average, somewhere around 90%. By assessing all available casinos, as discussed in my last video, then selecting the best possible, you've already improved your odds of winning, perhaps by several percentage points. Whatever your gambling goals are, we'll talk about those in the next step, identifying your gambling goals. For now, we need to consider choosing slot machines that will most likely improve your overall odds even more. So we've walked into our best casino to choose slot machines with the highest odds of winning we can find. But how do we select a good slot machine? Most people don't. They dive right in without much of a plan. Well, we have a plan. Why? Because everybody says it's all about luck. If you pick wrong, well, they say, better luck next time. Remember, casino employees are trained to say things like that. If you've won a taxable jackpot instead, you can believe they would have said, oh, you're lucky. I'll see you later when you win another jackpot. Slot attendants have a job to do, and it's most certainly isn't to get you to leave when you should. And it's difficult to not be influenced by such comments, but try not to be. In the following sections, I'll briefly explain aspects of choosing slot machines, including one, how odds are set within a slot machine, two, choosing denomination and maximum credits based on bankroll, three, basics of reading a slot machine's pay table, and four, a simple way to use pay tables to pick the best machines and avoid the worst. The odds of winning for a slot machine is a limited number of settings from the manufacturer. Besides understanding limited settings are available, it may help to understand that slot machines have two odds of winning to determine. One, if a player will or will not win anything, and two, how much that win will be the jackpot amount. Why is understanding these two types of odds significant when choosing slot machines? Because winning slot machines come in all jackpot sizes. You're still winning if you're getting enough small jackpots that your bankroll isn't shrinking. Even if it's slowly depleting, the bankroll can last quite a bit longer, so that's also a winning slot machine. Winning many jackpots this way is bankroll cycling. It may not seem very satisfactory, but whether it does or not depends entirely on what your gambling goals are. One type of gambling goal, earning maximum complimentary gifts, is most often achieved by bankroll cycling. Another point about setting slot machine odds is how often they are changed. Of course, it depends on the age of the casino, as discussed in my previous step, assessing casinos for success, or if it's been renovated lately. In my experience, older style casinos change their slot machine odds every 7 to 10 days. Newer style casinos can change their slot machine odds whenever the machine has been idle for 15 minutes or more, without a player's club card inserted or the machine temporarily locked by a slot attendant. Only you can decide how much bankroll you want to risk gambling. I highly recommend bringing only as much money as you can safely afford to lose comfortably. Bankrolls quite literally determine which slot machines you can play. But there's more to it than understanding a $100 bankroll that you play a one credit $100 denomination exactly once with very, very little chance of success. Whatever bankroll you have limits which slot machines can be played and how much it can be played. Slot machines have denominations, penny, quarter, dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, etc., and the maximum credits that can be placed in a single bet. Slot machines typically must run for a while before wins become more likely. Yes, wins can occur at the first press of a button. They can also happen within the first few bets, where casinos offer a taste, but usually they need to run for a while. About 100 to 120 bets is the right amount to be prepared to play to determine if you're sitting at a winning or break-even slot machine. Yes, be careful initially, perhaps making as few as 20 bets, to determine if it happens to be a bad machine. Trust your instincts. 
If it is a poorly performing machine, a tight slot machine, it won't pay out anything at all. Quick decisions are necessary here, so limited betting gives a clue to its performance, yet still leaves enough to gamble with on another machine if it isn't, assuming you stop playing it as soon as you notice it's not performing well enough. So again, you determine how much bankroll you can afford to spend. Now, take that number and divide it by 120 bets. If your bankroll is $60, then that's 50 cents per bet. In such a way, a right choice is a two-credit quarter-denomination slot machine, or a 50-cent penny-denomination slot machine. Always remember to play maximum credits for the highest odds of winning, meaning your casino may not have a two-maximum credit quarter or 50 maximum credit penny machines. But perhaps they have a one maximum credit quarter or less than 50 maximum credits penny machines. Such slot machines would provide more than 120 bets of play, which is going in the right direction. When choosing a slot machine to play, a crucial aspect of winning is to review its pay table before playing. Frankly, the casino industry gains an advantage over players that don't read slot machine pay tables. Located somewhere on a slot machine is one or more tables showing the number of credits won if specific combinations of real symbols appear in the pay line after the player makes a bet. Here is a relatively generic example of a pay table. This figure shows real combinations along with their jackpot depending on the number of credits bet. Pay tables don't typically explain how much credits are worth. In general, the top row is the maximum jackpot of the machine. Not every real combination in the associated jackpot are usually shown in a pay table. Other real combinations not shown in the top rows are also presented in the pay table area. Slot machines with wild symbols can represent it with a myriad of other possible real symbols. A final element of the pay table example provided is specific information on winning real combinations, which can include an indication of how the slot machine operates during play. The bottom row of symbols explains that the slot machine has real symbols which will move after the reels stop momentarily. Such additional features may not activate until the maximum credits are bet. It can sometimes be difficult or impossible to determine this. Most slot machines with bonus rounds will provide at least some information about it within its pay table. Developing a habit of reviewing and studying a slot machine's pay table can help improve your ability to judge the financial financial risks involved with playing that slot machine. The best way to improve the odds of winning by a slot machine gambling is to stop making sucker bets. In less colorful language, avoid playing slot machines with terrible odds of winning. First and foremost, understand when choosing slot machines that there are indeed terrible slot machines at a casino. By merely avoiding them whenever possible, on average, your long-term gambling return will improve. Each time we raise our odds like this, we're pushing closer to achieving our gambling goals. So let's make sure we do that, shall we? Calculate this goodness ratio as follows. 1. When choosing slot machines, as discussed, find the pay table with a denomination and maximum credits that best matches your available bankroll amount. 2. Take a close look at the pay table. What is the maximum possible jackpot when betting maximum credits? If the top jackpot is in currency, divide it by both the denomination of the machine and the maximum credits. If the top jackpot is displayed in credits, divide it by only the maximum credits. This goodness ratio tells us how worthwhile a specific slot machine is to play relative to others. By using this approach, any slot machine can be compared to any other slot machine. In the pay table example, the maximum jackpot is 2,400 credits with three maximum credits. Therefore, its goodness ratio is 2,400 divided by three, which is 800. Repeat this calculation for slot machines of interest. While this goodness ratio will be similar for many slot machines, it can be startling to find sucker bet slot machines that might not otherwise be avoided. Comment below with the worst goodness ratios you've seen. Be sure to share the highest. Stick around for identifying your gambling goals. Have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye.